Hey, in this adventure, I unbox the Icy Breeze. Tell me what item you've purchased in large part due to the celebrity endorsement. I'll go first. The Icy Breeze is Jeff Foxworthy. Hi there, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. This thing, the Icy Breeze portable air conditioner, is amazing. So now let's get to opening this big box. Got the owner's manual right there. It's a pretty nice owner's manual. It's, it's like cardstock in there. It's not that flimsy thing with a million different languages. It only looks like it's in English, too. Nice. Uh, looks like it's got the invoice. Um, and then here's some uh, quick start guide. All the features on it. All right there at the top invoice because I bought the uh, the platinum my understanding it has a uh, you can control uh, the speed on it you can't on the non-platinum so power cord um, oh, all right is this the is this the power cord that plugs into into what yeah this is the one that plugs into the accessory port like a car or something And then this comes right off. Nothing in there. It's got a little protective thing. And then there's the icy breeze. My first unboxing that I could have used a second person. Now I will say, this wasn't my first choice of colors, um, but this is what was available. I kind of like it, it looks pretty good. So this is the, watch the commercial. This is the hose, that can, you can adjust, put wherever you need to. Clap it back down, plug it in here, it's got a little vent. It's got a little vent in there. This is where the 12 volt battery plugs in. Uh, also has, it looks like a, a USB port here. So it does have controls on here. It's got high, medium, low. I assume that's fan control. It's got extreme cool power button. It's got the DC uh, power in, which I believe, uh, I believe you get a wall plug for this thing. I guess I didn't get that. Uh, and then like I said, the, uh, it's got a battery that slides in here. I didn't get that either. And then you can charge, so you can charge a USB device off of here. So it's got this, I forget what color they call this. Yeah, molten red shell with a dark gray trim. So molten red, dark gray trim. Um, the lid is a little heavy, but it does have this nice handle and the wheels, so you don't have to have a friend with you. And then here's the, the drain plug, the drain plug is here. So if you're using this to keep cool, you got the vent going on you, you can have a couple of cold cans here. And then like I said, this lid is a little heavy compared to others, but it's got that heat exchanger in here. So down here, it uh, brings in the water. I assume that's the water in, water out. So you're supposed to put in uh, some water and fill it with ice. I believe it's a 36 quart. So far from Jeff Foxworthy endorsing this thing, 
I, I also bought it because my ultimate plan was to have a, a, a refrigerator mounted on my trailer and an air conditioning. Well, this will do both. I mean, I still have to get ice, um, but for the price of those two things, I can buy a whole lot of ice. Uh, plus, this thing is a, is a truly portable AC unit. I mean, it's got wheels on it and everything, so I can use this for more than camping. Uh, I mean, the, you can see the commercial, they use it for going to soccer games or whatever else. Just any Anytime you're outside and you want some cool air blowing on you, fill it full of ice, put in some water, it circulates and supposedly blows cold air. So this thing's going to Sturgis with me because supposedly um, this will keep things cool, kind of like a Yeti. I think a Yeti does like nine days. It's supposed to do like seven. Uh, it's going to take us three days to get to Sturgis. So having the food in here will be helpful. And then once we get there, we can still have food. If it gets a little hot, turn on the AC. Uh, so I like the idea of this two-in-one kind of thing. also like that the price tag wasn't that bad. I paid... Um, Oh, I forget what I paid. Somewhere around three thirty, I think it was. So it, it looks really nice. I gotta figure out how to mount it to the trailer, and I gotta, I gotta test it out. So my main purpose with this thing again is uh, taking it to Sturgis, um, and then using it for cooling. So if you're wondering how, how am I planning on using it? Well, again, Sturgis is just for ice uh, and keeping food cold. I don't really want to bring a 48 core cooler, so this one seems like a good good idea. Still got to figure out a mount on the trailer. But then, when we get there, if I want a little cool air while we're camping, because we are going to be in this first camping um, at um, Sturgis View Campground, just like I was last year, um, if we need a little cool air, well, we got this plug here. My plug there. That plugs into this, and this plugs in my battery pack. So the idea is I can turn it on and we can maybe blow some air. It says it's plugged in. And I, maybe the text is in the water because it's not turning on. There we go, it's on. Yep, the fan's blowing low. Fan cut off. Of the medium, fan cuts off, got high. So a little different than expect. No idea how long it will last. Uh, this is a much bigger battery than what it calls for. A much bigger battery than what it calls for, so I expect it to, uh, to last a, a number of hours. Um, but I will have food in here, and that's the main purpose is food. Long-term purpose, do the whole food and the air conditioning thing. We'll see how it goes, time to test it out. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.